Hey guys, how are you? I hope you're having a wonderful day. So the other day I went to Whole Foods to do some grocery shopping and I always like to go through the like the supplement aisle where they have different like herbal things and the skincare, the non-toxic hair dye and just all of that because I just like to see like if they have any new products or I don't know, I'm just that's just how I am. I love going to like health food stores. It just, it makes me happy. I feel the same way about sprouts. I just love the energy, the aura, the aesthetic, the like wellness items. It just, it just makes me happy. Oh, I was just doing my shopping and I noticed this. So it says head to toe glow, an $80 value for $20. I'm not sure if it's actually $80 value for $20. I mean, it is $20, but I don't know if it's like an $80 value. I know they kind of like sometimes like just say it. <laughs> so I also really like sometimes to get these little products because it allows me to try different brands or different products without having to commit to an actual full size bottle of that product so i just think it's a great way to kind of try out different things see what works see what doesn't see what i like see what i don't and it's fun i love goodie bags like i love goodie bags it reminds me of my childhood and i remember for birthdays we would go and we would have goodie bags at the birthday parties and nowadays like the birthday bags are so like bougie but ours was like in those like plastic little bags with like an eraser or a pen like a pencil a wooden pencil that you have to sharpen a sharpener you know nowadays it's like i don't even know anyways let's get into it so i believe this is handmade art and i really like it that's what caught my eye because i love greens and blues and they just make me so happy so it's from the alafia artisan center so that's really cool now these are the goodies first we have this three-in-one soap yeah. <clears throat> everyone for everybody Three-in-one soap, body wash, bubble bath, shampoo with calendula, chamomile, and aloe vera, Pacific eucalyptus. Oh, well, it's probably sealed. It smells like a spa. Cool. Okay, I will try this out. I'm just gonna go through each like product really quickly, and then I'm gonna tell you guys which one I'm most excited for. This one is a two fluid ounce, 18-in-1 hemp almond pure castile soap by dr bronner's i know this i've had this before i've had the huge bottle very great to kind of have at home because you can use it for like multiple things a lot of uses for this basically oh this is cute and small so i you know that'll come in handy and we have the whole foods brand moisture and shine shampoo Lavender with hemp seed and argon oils. Why not? Shampoo. You can take it with you on the go. Oh, Waleda Food Ultra Rich Cream. Potent plant extract for nourishing dry skin. So I've, I haven't tried their skincare, but I've tried their salt toothpaste from this brand. And it's supposedly clean and it's made in Germany and... I find that European products have less toxic things in them because the the kind of regulations they have over there are a little bit more stricter than it is here in the US. Well, I guess I'm excited to try all of them because why not? New things are exciting. But I will tell you at the end which one I like the most. Okay, so this is Alpha Fia, Alafia. I don't know why I'm saying Alpha Fia. So, <laughs> Alafia Everyday Shea Bubble Bath with unrefined shea butter. That's cool. It's like a c cool alternative to like bubble baths, like bubble things. Oh, a cure. So I know this brand. I've, I think I've used, I've used something of theirs, but I don't remember. It was for the face. So this is a facial scrub and it's a brightening facial scrub I'm actually like in the need of a scrub I kind of use 
Like I want to use chemical exfoliants, but then it's also good to kind of have a physical scrub as well. I feel like why not try out both and see which works better with my skin. And here we have Pacha Soap Co. It's a plant-based oils, exfoliate with volcanic ash, moisturized with unrefined shea butter. So it's a bar of soap, but it doesn't have, I think, any extra additives. Wait, it kind of does smell like the sand in the sea. It also kind of smells like blueberries. Let's see if it looks like a wave. Oh, that's so cute. That's why it's like the sand and the sea, like the sand and the sea. Wow, I love that. Very creative. Ooh, and then we have the Mad Hippie Vitamin C Serum. Uplifting antioxidant blend that brightens and smooths the appearance of the skin. Very cool, made in the USA. And then, oh, this is an essential oil. I'm, I'm, I've seen this brand before. This, they create botanical skincare and fragrance oils. Kumba made, so it's called Kumba made. It says clean, long lasting, vegan, always handmade with love in small batches. Oh, there you go. Let's try it. Oh, very, very vanilla -y. This is nice. It's nice. It's very vanilla -y. I like it. And last but not least, it is a organic pure moringa. Wait, is this green tea? Oh, organic moringa leaf powder. Wait, is that green tea or not? It says more protein, iron, fiber, and calcium than kale. More powerful than turmeric. Tastes like matcha, but caffeine free. Wait a second. I need to, ch I need to Google this. Okay. Let me see what Moringa is. Moringa. It is not matcha. It's just another herb. It's a plant that is often called the drumstick tree. The miracle tree contains proteins, vitamins, and minerals. It does not have caffeine. Wait, that's really cool. I actually, so I really like matcha, but recently I was like, oh, maybe I should not drink it as often because of the caffeine. And it's funny, this is kind of, I don't know how it tastes, but I do feel like it might taste similar to matcha or green tea. So I, I will try this out and if you're curious, comment down below and I'll let you know how I like it. And there's just a coupon for Waleda skincare and the cute little bag. I love this pouch. Honestly, this is, this is partly why I got it, but I also love trying out new products. Especially if it's more of a wellnessy product, cleaner, you know, no product is perfect, but I do feel like some products use less ingredients that are very harmful, and some items don't even use those very harmful ingredients. So I would rather, you know, pick the ones that have cleaner ingredients, and you can't win all the way, but at least like 80%, 90%, like I'll take it. Or if 100% exists out there, let me know because I am down to try it. So, let's see. Hmm. I'm gonna see which one I'm most excited for. So, I will pick my number one. Okay, I think I'm most excited for the Mad Hippie Vitamin C Serum. Just because I've never tried Mad Hippie, but I've always walked past it. I've seen it online. I've researched about it, but I just never got a product. And I never committed to a full-sized product. So I think this is a great way for me to try this out without getting a full-size bottle. And I've been looking for a vitamin C serum. So I thought this is great. I'm very excited for this. 
I will say I am actually excited for the ultra rich cream as well for my forehead. I'm excited for the Moringa. So that's my top three. But if I had to pick a runner up, I would say the a Cure uh, Brightening Facial Scrub, just because that kind of goes hand in hand with my vitamin C thing. Okay, but I will say the most underwhelming product I would say was this 365 Whole Foods shampoo. Just because I already have a lot of shampoo, there's nothing really special about this. I feel like all of these shampoos have hemp seed and argon oils in them. And it's lavender and I'm trying to stay away from lavender because it's a naturally estrogenic plant and too much estrogen is not great. So for me personally, this would be the most underwhelming product and this one would be the one that I'm most excited for. Let me know if you have tried any of these products and what your opinions are on them and what you think and how it worked for you and what your skin type is. And also let me know if one of these products are like your all time favorite thing because that would be cool too. And that's it for today's video. I really just wanted to give you a little mini haul of this cutie little bag that I got, my little goodie bag from Whole Foods. Yeah, I love goodie bags. I wish I would get, I could get goodie bags all the time. I love little, I love a little bit of everything, you know. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Bye.